Hello, and welcome to our first step of our eight video series. In this series, we will get an ESP32 to communicate data with our Java or Flutter app, end to end encrypted, secure, and private with the at platform. So, just a quick summary of what we do here at AtSign we are flipping the internet where your apps, data, identity, IoT devices, and any kind of data is safe and secure by means of decentralization and encryption. So imagine all of your data that you have on your favorite online stores where these corporations actually have a copy and own your data. Well, that doesn't really sound right because, you know, it's my data, so why shouldn't I own it? Well, that's kind of, kind of like the problem we're trying to solve here at AtSign. We're trying to give data ownership back to the user. So this tutorial is meant to be one example or instant or one instance of our tech where you can secure data from two endpoints and fully own it. Um, in this case, we will have an ESP32, which will be our IoT device. And I'll show you how to polymorphically share that data with others, whether it be um, with apps, people, or other IoT devices, which in this case will be, we will be sharing data with an app. So let's get right into step one. Um, just be sure to head over to our GitHub at sign foundation and head over to our at ESP32 repository. And throughout this series, we're going to be following the getting started guide. So each of these videos in the series will be one step in this readme. It's pretty much the same steps, but in video format. And I go through, with, through it with you step by step. So the first step is to actually install VS Code. So I've already got VS Code installed, but if you don't, just head over to this link here where you can find various links to download it for your corresponding operating system. I'm going to assume that you have VS Code installed. And then the next thing you'll need is the platform IO VS Code extension. So once you have VS Code installed, head over to extensions here on the left and then search up platform IO IDE and then just hit install. And then it might ask you to reload your VS Code and just hit that reload button and you should have platform IO installed. And you'll see this little green alien here on the left to uh, get platform IO or to show that you've got platform IO working. So once you have that, um, you'll, the next thing you'll need uh, are two at signs for this project. So the reason why you need two at signs is because one at sign will be on your ESP32 while the other will be on the app. And that's uh, using that's, that's using our tech um, with at signs is how we uh, actually achieve end-to-end -end encrypted communication between the two endpoints. So we're going to go through that now. So just head over to your browser and go to my.atsign.com slash go like that, or just click on the link here in the readme and you'll be uh, dropped into our registrar site. And I was already logged in from another session. So let me log out and go back to slash go. Okay. So once you go to my.atsign.com slash go, you'll be met with the screen and we're going to get two at signs that we like. So I don't really like any of these ones. So I'm going to hit the refresh button. And I'm just going to say, don't show this warning again and press continue. <clears throat> um, I really like this at sign, 20 feminists. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my cart. And then I'm just going to hit exit here because we need one more at sign. And I really like this one, Piskies too. Pisces, Piskies. Anywho, um, once we have two at signs, we're going to head over to our cart here. And uh, you'll see I have my two at signs here. And you're going to hit checkout and then it'll ask you for an email address. So I'm going to go ahead and give my personal email address that I want my two at signs to be stored in. Once you do that, it's going to ask you for a four character one-time password. And then once you get that one-time password, just copy and paste that into here. All right, and um, I originally had two, car two at signs in my cart already, so you'll see two at signs here, but um, uh, anywho, you should click the save button to save your at signs, and there you go, you own them. So once you own your at signs, we're going to head over here and click activate your at signs. So the two ones that I really liked were these two, 20 Feminist and uh, this one. Um, you won't have other at signs in here if these are the first two that you're getting. So I'm going to go ahead and click activate on both of these. And while that's loading, um, 
Next thing we're going to do, once you get this ready to activate screen here, we're going to download um, one of our apps called Atmosphere Pro. So Atmosphere Pro can be found either on the Microsoft Store if you're on Windows or in the App Store if you're on Mac. You can also get it on your mobile device, on the Google Play Store, or on the App Store again if you're on iOS. <clears throat> but this is how we're going to generate the second part of our prerequisite, which are the at keys. So we have gotten two at signs, but we need their at keys files because each at sign has an associated key file. And that key file is used by the applications to achieve end to end encrypted communication. So let's go ahead and do that. So once you have Atmosphere Pro downloaded, we're going to go ahead and open it. <clears throat> then you'll be met actually with an onboarding screen. So right now I have all my at signs here because I've used this app before, but um, just let me try and log out here. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what screen you get, but you should be able to get to this screen here in Atmosphere Pro. This is the onboarding screen where you can activate your at signs. So we're just going to hit activate at sign here. And then we're going to put in the two, one of the two at signs that we've uh, purchased. So the first one is 20 feminist. I'll hit activate. And it'll ask you for a verification code again. So here I have my email open on my second monitor. And I received an email from at sign with my OTP. So I'm going to hit verify and login. And if you get an error here, be sure to first press the activate button on the registrar site. So for example, this at sign is not activated. It has this orange activate button, which I should press before completing the step. So in these two at signs that I'm activating here, I did click on the activate button. Oh, and there you go. We got uh, a change. So that means we've activated it and generated our keys. So this is a very important step. So be sure to save your keys. Otherwise, uh, if you don't, you're, they're going to be lost forever. So just hit the save and backup, and we'll save it on our desktop just for now. And once you're done that, I'll go ahead and click continue, and we can go ahead and activate our next at sign by going over here to add, and then activate at sign. And our next one is Pisces 2. And our next OTP is sent to my email. Same thing, verify and login. Then it'll do its thing. It'll generate the encryption keys for us and eventually give us a key file. All right, save back up and we'll put them in our desktop. And there we go. We have two at signs and their at keys. Um, a note with these at keys is that they are the key to your data essentially. So it's important to keep these safe. So if somebody else has access to these key files, nobody, not even at sign, can kind of recover your data or reprivate them because, you know, the keys, the key to your data is kind of gone. It's kind of like giving away the keys to your car. So yeah, that's a uh, second step. The next thing, of course, is to have an ESP32 along with a USB-A, or it doesn't have to be a USB-A, as long as it's a U as long as it's a micro USB data cable to connect the ESP32 to your computer, so we can actually upload code into it. And yeah, that really sums up our first step here. You should have two at signs and two of their at keys. Feel free to upload these to the cloud on Google Drive or on Dropbox as you'd like to keep them extra safe from being lost. But just, yeah, that ends our first step. Now you know all about at keys and the encryption methods behind them. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions on how at sign is flipping the internet, reach out to us on Discord, Twitter, or email.